So today we're talking about comparing and ordering integers. So instead of just comparing and ordering whole positive numbers, in sixth grade you include negative numbers. So anything on the left side of the zero on the number line is less than zero. And the further you go to the left, the smaller those numbers get. So when you're going least to greatest, like we are in this first example, you're going to go from left to right on the number line. So in this problem, we start by graphing the numbers. So that just means that you put a dot on each number that's in the problem. And this is talking about stock prices changing. So when it says negative five, it's saying the stock price went down $5. And when it's saying positive four, it's saying the stock price went up $4. And if it's saying zero, it means the stock price didn't change at all. So I'm going to do all six of these numbers. And once I have them in order, then I just have to write them least to greatest, which again is left to right on the number line. So all the way to the left, we graphed negative six. So that comes first. Then we graphed negative five, then zero, or sorry, then negative three, then zero, then two, and then four. So again, even though six is bigger than five, and it looks like, you know, negative six would be bigger than negative five, it's completely opposite on the left side of the number line. So if you, if the stock price went down six dollars that's less than if it only went down five dollars okay we've got another example it's similar but this time we're putting them in order greatest to least so again i start by graphing each number on the number line this time it's talking about elevation elevation is how high up something is or low it is and so again, if it's positive, that would be above sea level. If it's negative, that would be below sea level. And if it's zero, that would be right at sea level. So you always, if you're graphing numbers like this, you always wanna make sure that you count how many dots you end up doing. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots, and I had eight numbers to begin with. So that tells me that I did that correctly. Instead of going left to right this time though, I want greatest to least. So the numbers get bigger as they go to the right. So we're gonna start all the way to the right with nine, then eight, then five, two, zero, negative one, negative six, and last but not least, negative 10. So the elevation nine meters above sea level would be the highest, and then going all the way down to the lowest elevation of 10 degrees, or 10 meters below sea level. And I always like to remember that least is on the left, because that helps me remember that anything that's to the left on the number line is going to be less than anything that's on the right. And I'm just gonna quickly present this whole thing so you can see the whole page. And in my next video, I will be going over the problems on the left-hand side.